Hey guys, what's up? I'm Gaming here for another video, and sorry about that long get it intro. Um, yeah, um, sorry that I didn't do a video last week. Um, I just felt like I already did that modded and another video, so I thought maybe you know, two, two, two videos a week would work out. Um, but yeah, alright. Uh, this video is, or this clip is to show you guys what I've been up to. I don't know if I showed you these guys yet, but, um, I've been working on these little pen things. Uh, at first I was gonna make it this way to where, you know, you breathe them, you have the half slap here so the babies can't get out. Um, but found out they can still get out, um, they can still fit through for some reason. Uh, so that I changed, so I changed it to under here. Um, I have a new design I'm working on. Uh, but yeah. I also, uh, uh, where, where did it go? Over it, up down there. I also found a key. Thought I should show you guys that so that you guys can not call me a cheater or whatever. No. Um, where is this cave at? Oh, yeah, down here. Yeah. Over here, found a cave. Thought if I show it off, that'd be a good thing to do. Um, so yeah. So yeah, found this cave down here. Uh, I'm going to be exploring off camera. I just wanted to show you the kind of front area of it. As you see, there's times there. There was lapis right here. Picked up a lapis. So yeah, I'm going to explore this off camera. And this main video is going to be about, um, updates of what I found in this cave, probably. Uh, so yeah, see you guys later on when I then when I have an update. Alright guys, I'm back, and um, I just explored the, the uh, minecraft there, and these are the resources that I got. I got, you know, the, the 12 lapis stack and 3 redstone, 25 gold, 64, and 23 iron. Bunch of coal, I uh, could have got more coal and iron if I, you know, chose to, um, but, you know, I don't want to feel like, I don't want to just sit there wasting my picks, um, but this episode isn't mainly going to be about that, uh, this episode actually is going to be mainly this one, and the next one is going to be about exploring the nether, um, just because I don't know what else to do, um, I'm still working on my base, I'm still adding more to it, um, you know, all that's off camera stuff, and then I'll show you guys like I usually do, on camera when I'm finished with it, but, yeah, nothing's really changed besides this right here. So I got changed. I added. Um. So yeah. But uh, so yeah, I'm gonna really quickly show you my redstone design I talked about before, and then we're gonna tackle tackle the nether for the rest of this video. See you guys in a minute when we get to that part. All right, guys, we're back, and this is the redstone design I talked about before in the last clip that I wanted to show you before we hit the nether. Um pretty cool design. It took me as you see here a couple of tries to get it to fight for at it. But my problem was I wanted the all the like the mob drops to go into one water source and be shot down, you know, you know, brought down to just the main chest. You know, if you guys remember that chest I had at the at the beginning of that tunnel there. Um so this is the design I have. Um I figured it out, you know. Uh Pretty simple the line. That's the redstone. Any item that goes through the system here, go through, get shot up. Well, mostly shot up. Let's see. Last time I recording, so this may slow it down a bit, but. No one there, none in there. Uh, my problem was before is. Um, I think I still have it. With this design right here. Um, This is how I thought it would work. Um, I 
forgot that um, with, with droppers and hoppers um, and dispenser boon, you know, one sword, one redstone sword actually shoot the the does uh, does two uh, two of them. But usually, what happens is two always get stuck in the bottom one because uh, they didn't think um, that uh, having double the source meaning you know, both these pink power shoots both of these like both up and down and vertical so like yeah so all the mob drops you know come out the top um and it's not and if you guys want to do, do, do design, design yourself and refine it go ahead um it's the best thing I can figure out for now at least um my other problem was I thought that uh you know how am I going to make you know do multiple, but then I found out that if I just that I actually have enough space in between, uh, between each of the different mob mob, uh, mob pens, that's what I'm calling them, um, where I can actually have the redstone. The redstone won't affect those because dots, because uh, they're not these dots are not going directly in like that. They're you know they're not actually affecting the actual uh, dispensers here. Um, so if you're gonna use this, use this uh, redstone contraption I made up here. If you're gonna make a mob farm like mine, um, no. Uh, this is how you do it. Pretty simple, pretty easy. But yeah, there you go. Um, the only thing I really hope that Mojang adds, because if no one notices this is this yet, but I have uh, all the stuff that we have in this game is modded. Like this totem. Modded. The shield, modded. Even the elytra, modded. You know, from open blocks, that's that's the um, with the wing glider and that. The totem, there's probably some sort of dem demonic like ritual mod out there where you make a totem and it keeps you alive and keeps you all your stuff, whatever. Um, the foods, they're not modded, I don't think. They're just add ons. Um, the observer, a modded like thing. Pistons were a modded thing in the back in the day. They were actually full iron. Like they looked like a full iron block, uh, with just a little like pixel like ring around it, so you'd know where the top of it is, like the head. Um, you know, hoppers were probably a mod. You know, a lot of things that looked sorry that were a mod are now in the middle of the game. So I really hope I don't know they had some sort of like feeder block and. I wanted to point this up before, um, really quickly. But the best design for a, a feeder like block is to have it like this. Simple design. Like that. And so this would be like a cow feeder and then you seat the middle for chickens. Uh and the only downside of it is you have to you know, at least have a hopper next to it, next to it to keep filling up whatever the item is. So it's not like you know, not fully um, overpowered because you still have to make sure it's filled up, but it's also not underpowered, you know, because uh, Mojang's trying to make this make this game not as overpowered, but so many people can make so many farms where all the farms is connected to each other to other things, you know. Um, so yeah, but so far you can't make like a wheat farm that's automatic yet, so. It wouldn't be too overpowered because the person whoever is using the feeders, if they do add the feeders, would still have to, you know, grow the grow the crops and plant them and everything else and put them in that chest. So it's not fully overpowered, but still fully not underpowered. Um, but yeah, I just want to point that out to you. My idea for a um, feeding system for the cows because farming's stupid. Um, I've seen I've seen a few people do it this way to where you know they have a uh, where is it? Show you. You guys probably have ready. Oh, that's a problem. Kind of. Alright, I, I did think about that one. Forgot about the hopper. Alright. So, a little fluke in this design, really quickly. But a quick change. Simple change. Uh, so, 
there. So I know. This is the design, and this is how you do it. For most of the mobs. Uh, cow. You know. And you breed them like this. And you know that the water stops because of the observer. And, um, with the new update of Minecraft, after you get to 20, I think it's like 20 or 20, like 2 ish, around 20 ish uh, mobs. I think it's 24, I think, actually. Yeah, if you, if you, if you get to 24 ish, 23 ish mobs, um, they start to die off by themselves. You know, any mobs in one area start to die off, so. Just keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, this is design. Yeah, we, we, I'll be back with you guys when I um, go, go uh, get ready to go in the nether. See you guys then. Alrighty, guys, we're back, and I just went to nether. We just got the chair. We can need to go deeper. Uh, I'm going to turn down my settings a bit. I did turn it to peaceful for for some reason, so. And the main thing right now we're looking for is a temple, uh, or another fortress, I mean. Or the start to making potions, one of the two. Get a couple of these. Can't leave it off of non even number. Hey, hey, hey all right, we're good. Let's go explore this temple. I haven't done much on camera with you guys, so I figured you guys needed it. Alright, that dead, dead ends nowhere. That's nice. Alright, so it goes off that way. This way and that way. Let's let's stick this way. I do have my bow on me, so. Hey, Pigman. You got no beef with you. Right, let's head around for right now. Right. That's for now. a lot why my friends are capped at that low at 20 sorry about this um I don't know my computer seems to like the cap it at 20 I mean, fraps like the cap. My frames at 20. When I record, which isn't bad, but still, it's a little awkward. I mean, it's fraps, so. You know. Oh, you didn't see me, damn it. Whatever though. Alright, let's go up here. And it's not like I'm lagging. I'm actually perfectly fine.
faster. They just get into the fire. Oh, that's the one achievement. Forgetting a blaze rod. I'm really glad that this actually spawned pretty close to the uh, the portal I had. Because you guys know it's annoying as hell looking for her. Okay, now they're. Uh, See, I don't need diamond armor to be in here. But, um, ah. Yeah. Alright, uh, I'm gonna pause here until something happens. Uh, either, you know, I find something or whatever. Uh, so yeah, see you guys in a second when that happens. Alrighty, guys, we're back, and, uh, I just went to a temple. Uh, this is what I found because the gas that was on top like, nearby it uh, got got the gas here found some glowstone that was on you know one of like in the one of those like tunnel things got the glowstone got golden hearts golden armor found in a chest two uh, two iron hearts armor some obsidian got the nether wart from there got the twelve gold from the chest same as the saddle there's also another, I think, a gold sword in a chest, and two, two uh, flint steels that I left behind. Um, yeah, that's all I found. Um, I'm pretty sure I explored all the way to most of it, so yeah. yeah. Uh, again, this is a weird video. I mean, I expected this video. As I expected us to need to like, go out f a little farther than that to find the portal, uh, find another temple, uh, yeah, another temple, but, you know, or fortress, sorry, another fortress, but I guess not, and then I expected me not to find the exit for a while, but, you know, luckily enough, it recorded me actually walking in there, so, I was able to find it pretty quickly, so, yeah, I don't, so write stuff out and find out what we're doing next. Maybe even call this a video. I feel like that should be a achievement in crafting for a stand. That would be cool. Uh, there's also, I was lucky enough to find one of the uh, blaze rod spawners to be, be in an actual uh, enclosed area. So, that's probably the one that I'm going to be using um, you know, to make a farm, to make a XP farm out of it, stuff like that. Or to make a farm out of that, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna cut it here, see if I wanna call this video, call this a full episode or not. But I'll be right back with you guys when I, if I do. Call it an episode. See you guys in a bit. Alright guys, I'm going to call it, oops, sorry, I'm going to call it an episode here, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe on the video, um, hopefully you like, you like this video, um, uh, hope you like the, the content, um, let me know, feed your feedback, always helps me out, you know, make better videos, stuff like that, uh, I should have a video out soon, sometime next week, about streaming and the game that I may stream, and stuff like that. So look forward to that. Uh, I will definitely have a modded series out as well. 
Um, so yeah, like I said, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out for this video. Uh, see you guys. I don't, I don't know why I'm lagging. Oh, I know why I'm lagging. Uh, see you guys in the next one. I should also be upgrading my computer really soon because I don't have the money to. Uh, so that, so I will be changing it as you see here. So it says Intel Premium. I will change that to uh, something else, a lot better. Um, hopefully. So yeah, see you guys in the next one. Peace out.